Welcome to part 3 of the dog tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing the legs, tail and final assembly. We're going to do the legs and you'll need to make 4 of these. In round 1, it's 7 single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight and as always I'm using a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round 2 we're doing 7 increases. This will bring us up to 14 stitches in the round. In round 3 we're working in the back loops only and we're doing 14 single crochet around. In rounds 4 to 5, so that's 2 rounds, we're doing 14 single crochet around. From now on we will work in rows instead of in rounds. This means we will be turning and crocheting back and forth instead of in a spiral. Because we're working in rows, we will use standard decreases rather than invisible decreases. In row 1, we start with a decrease. So insert the hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop. Then insert the hook into the second stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. So that was our decrease and now we turn. In row 2 we start with a decrease. So we go right into that last stitch of the previous row and in the stitch after that. Then we do 6 single crochet. And then a decrease. And turn. In row 3, once again, we start with a decrease. So we go right into that last stitch of the previous row and into the next stitch. Then we do 4 single crochet. And a decrease. And turn. Row 4 is the last row and we start with a decrease, then do 2 single crochet and a decrease. Now we can close and cut the yarn, leaving a long tail for sewing. Add stuffing to the leg. And remember you'll need to make 4 of these. 
Now we're going to crochet the tail. In round one, it's four single crochet in the magic ring. Now we are going to do 10 rounds of four single crochet around. As you're working, don't tuck away the tail from the magic ring, rather work around it, because we're going to use it later to curl the tail. Because there are only four stitches in each round, just work slowly and carefully here. So I've done rounds two and three, and I'll do the rest off camera. So here's the tail from the magic ring. And I'm going to close with a slip stitch. Then cut the yarn, leaving a long tail for sewing. Now we're going to use the tail from the magic ring. And pull on it slightly to curve the tail. Then you can tie the two yarn tails together to secure it. Next we are going to do the face shaping. Unfortunately my camera went out of focus here, but I will keep this image on screen as a reference. We're going to put the needle under the head and bring the yarn through just under the eye, as close as possible. Then go in above the eye, through to the other eye. Then go in as close as possible under the second eye and bring the yarn back through to meet the first piece. Pull on the yarn tails to shape the face. Tie these yarn tails together and then repeat the process if necessary to get the shaping that you want. Next we're going to embroider the nose and mouth. The base of the nose goes right in the center of the starting magic ring. The top of the nose is two rounds above, in a triangle like so. Then you can go back and forth between the top and the bottom to create the nose. Then make some horizontal stitches at the top of the nose to neaten it up. Make sure to fill any gaps as you go. Once the nose is complete we can embroider the mouth. Then just weave in the ends. Mm -hmm. 
Now we are going to sew the head onto the body. It can help to pin it in place first if you find that it's moving around too much. To start, grab the yarn tail from the neck and then grab a stitch under the head. Go out through the next stitch on the neck and then back into the stitch after that. Then grab the next stitch on the head and repeat this all the way around. This is my preferred method of sewing on, but you can sew however you prefer. Keep checking as you're working to make sure the head is staying symmetrical with the neck. Add more stuffing to the neck if needed to make sure that head doesn't wobble. Next we're going to sew on the legs. The top of the legs go between round 8 and 9 on the body. So if you look here, round 6 and 7 were those half double crochets. And we're going below that between round 8 and 9. If you're using a much thicker or thinner yarn, your placement might be slightly different. So I grab a stitch from the body, go up into the leg and down into the next stitch on the leg. And I repeat this all the way across and around the leg. You can add more stuffing to the leg here if needed. Now you can sew on the second front leg, just making sure it's symmetrical with the first. So I'll do the second leg off camera. Here's the second leg and now I'm going to do the back legs in line with the front legs with the tops of the legs being between rounds 8 and 9. Here's the third leg and I'm going to sew the fourth leg on exactly the same way as the third and I'll do this off camera. And here are the completed legs. Now we can sew on the ears and I like to place the ears three rounds behind the eyes. Once again, depending on the yarn you're using, this might be slightly different for you. 
I like for the ears to form nearly a V shape at the top of the head. I suggest pinning in place and viewing from all angles before sewing. And I'll sew on the ears the same way as the other pieces. After going across the ear, you can go back to the front of the ear and grab the first stitch again. And go through to the back and grab the last stitch again. Then you can just weave in the end. Now sew on the second ear exactly the same way. Just make sure it's symmetrical with the first. And here are the completed ears. Lastly, we're going to sew on the tail. And the tail goes right at the back of the piece like so. Use one of the yarn tails and grab stitches around the tail and on the body to secure it. Then you can tie the yarn tails together and weave in the ends. And that is the dog completed. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.